Hi, welcome to this walkthrough for the contact patches from the Crate 2 Ultimate Urban Samples. If you haven't already checked it out, we do have a loops walkthrough in another video. Overall, the Crate 2 has nearly 10 gigabytes of original content with over 7,400 WAV files. The drum and percussion hits alone have 4,400 unique samples. The contact patches have been formatted for Contact 5. You will need the full version of Contact to use these, and if you don't have that, then you can load up these samples in any sampler you choose. You can just drag and drop into EXS24, uh, Reason, NNXT, or whatever it is that you prefer. Okay, let's look at these folders that we have on here, and you can see here that this is our Contact Drums, and we have two sections. There's the Drum Hits and Percussion Hits. We're gonna get started with the Drum Hits. In here, we have Claps, cymbals and crashes, hi-hats, kicks, snaps, and snares. And in most of these, you're gonna have multiple patches broken down by sound and style. So for example, with these kicks, we have them organized by combos, which means that there's just not only the kick sample, but maybe something else blended in with it a little bit. There's kicks deep, effects, knock, punchy, sub, thin, and a lot of them need more than one patch just because of the size and the amount of samples that are included. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll listen to some of the claps. So you can hear just how much variety there is in each one of these sections. Let's go ahead and now check out some of the hi-hats. Now let's go ahead and look at some of our kicks. You can see there's just a lot to choose from in here. We're gonna get started and maybe listen to some of the kick subs. Some of them are, are just subtones. Some of them are kicks blended with certain subs with different types of decays and things like that. So let's take a listen to these. And now, just for the opposite of that, the kick's thin. These are gonna be just nice, thin, punchy kicks that you could use to either use on their own or blend with another kick to add just a little bit extra punch to them. So there's just not a lot of bottom end on any of those, but they could be really useful in the right context. Now let's check out kicks punchy O2 here. So you can hear there's a lot of different variation with those, but each one of them has a certain punchy quality to them, maybe more so than the typical kick. Now let's go ahead and check out one more here of the kicks, the Kicks Fat O1. Those have a certain kind of compressed quality to them. They feel very full, very large. Let's move on now to some of the snares. And again, these have a lot of different subcategories of the snares so that you can really find exactly what it is you're looking for. So if you just want like a snare rim shot sound, pull in the rim shots patch and that's all you'll get. And let's check out Snares Crisp. So those all have a very accented top end to the EQ on those. A lot of buzz crispiness to the sound. Let's now check out Snare Claps. So these are gonna be blended with a clap sound.
And finally, let's check out Snare's Natural. So those just have much more of an acoustic vibe to them, less processing happening on the samples. Speaking of processing, you can always go into the effects page here on any of these patches and add any of the included effects. So if you want a limiter, if you want to make them more lo-fi with their lo-fi, add reverb. It's as simple as turning it on, going into the edit menu then on each of the effects and you can adjust all the parameters however you like. And all of this is MIDI CC assignable as well. So there's a lot more we could show you with these one-shot samples, uh, but for the sake of time, we're gonna move on and we're gonna check out some of the percussion hits. Let's take a listen to some of the bongos. Now let's move on to computer chips. And let's check out our Ethnic Percussion 01. And here is our low drums patch. Now let's go ahead and check out one of the shakers. And finally, let's look at toms. Again, there's a lot more we could go through here, but just to keep things moving, let's go ahead and check out now the contact synths. So here's the contact synth folder. You can see we have bases, leads, and pads. So let's load up some of these bases and check them out. First off, I just want to mention that there is the ADSR envelope on here. You can adjust the attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release of it, as well as a legato section. So if you want to go ahead and turn this on, and then we're going to switch this over to uh, Portamento and turn up our crossfade time to a little bit above 100 milliseconds. Or you could really stretch this out and make a long portamento sound. And again, with these synths, you also have the option to load up any of the effects on here as well. Let's go ahead and listen to some more of these basses now. So overall, we've got 65, 66 different synth bases to choose from. Let's check out some of the leads.
So in total, we have 85 different synth leads, and we just heard a few of them there. Finally, let's check out some of the pads. And for these, you might want to go ahead and turn up the release to something a little bit more pad-like. So that's about it for the contact synth patches. I also wanted to mention that in the drum section, the loops are available in contact format. And if you want to hear them, check out our loops walkthrough video. That'll give you more detail into what type of loops are available in the drum loop section. The Crate 2 is available at BigFishAudio.com for $129.95. And for the amount of content you're getting, that's a great value. Thanks again for watching.